If you guys are looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They have the cheapest coins that you can find anywhere in the internet. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got Madden 21 news, Madden 21 trailer, Madden 21 announcements, um, just kind of some key info regarding Madden 21. So we're going to take a live look on this channel on the trailer. Not probably going to watch the whole thing, but we're going to play a little bit of it in the background. Talk about some things, talk about some new features that are announced, the date, the cover, some leaks. Just going to go through everything that we have gotten. Because this was supposed to happen like two weeks ago. And they delayed it for what they say is other reasoning. But we all know with Madden it probably wasn't ready yet. So it's kind of exciting though. So there's some key things today that is really important for a lot of people getting Madden. Because a lot of people thought there could be a, a money grab aspect to the whole new console thing. But I'll go over all that as we get into the video. Now guys, before we get into the screenshots, the clips, the trailers and everything. Make sure you're down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that on to boys. Come join the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up as always. If you haven't already, comment down below. Let me know what you think of Madden 21. Are you guys excited? I personally am super hyped. Probably because I do YouTube for it, but I do love Madden. Like, I do genuinely enjoy playing Madden, especially when the game first comes out and I get into it again. Like, into that level again. I can't wait to start grinding at Weekend League and do the whole bit. So, hopefully, things are great. But let's go check everything out, guys. It's heading over to everything. Here we are in the EA Sports Next Level official page here. So, I did watch some of this. Hopefully you guys can't hear any of this because I do not want you guys to be, I don't want to get copyrighted here, but as you guys can see here, it's kind of like a Mahomes trailer. I don't know how new this part is, but as I watch through, the important part here is that Mahomes does announce that throughout this, we will be getting pretty much grandfathered in for Madden 21 if you buy it. So what we were worried about, what if we bought Madden 21 on Xbox One and then Xbox One Series X came out for Christmas and we had to rebuy it again, which... I mean, it's not the end of the world if I had to spend another $60 on a different version of Madden, but it's supposed to be very similar, so I was kind of hoping I wouldn't have to. So it appears as though, guys, it will be transferring over as stated by EA. So that means you guys won't have to buy two different Maddens. And a lot of people are saying, like, well, our team transfer over, guys. From what my knowledge of the Xbox One Series X is that it's going to be just like when the Xbox One dropped and then the Xbox One X dropped. It's going to be like the same community and everything. And same platform. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the same platform, just a whole new system. I could be wrong, but I don't think it's gonna be about as next gen as it was when the Xbox 360 came out versus the Xbox One. Like how that was just a whole nother level, you couldn't even play together or talk together. I don't think it's gonna be like that. I think it's gonna genuinely be the same system, just a way more improved, way, way more of a monster in my opinion. But as far as that goes, your Madden team should transfer over quite, quite fine because it should be the same exact thing, which is very good information for us. That means we could grind through to December and then seamlessly switch over, which is very important. All right, guys, as I was editing this video, the gridiron notes just went live, so we can pretty much go over just about everything now, actually. Official Madden NFL 21 reveal, all the things you want to know about the official Madden 21 reveal. There's a lot of information. Uh, this isn't that important. Okay, okay, let's go down here. So cover story featuring Lil Wayne. Not entirely sure about that. Now, guys, Lamar Jackson is supposed to be tweeting a cool video today, so make sure to check that out. Not sure if this is the one they were talking about or what's the deal, but apparently he's supposed to be tweeting something out at some point today, so make sure you... Oh, okay, I guess I guess he tweeted it out. All right, guys, I think it's on... Yep, it's on his uh, Twitter page. Go check that out. Face of the franchise, Rocks of Fame. Create yourself as a quarterback in high school. You're attempting to lead your team to a state championship. We should mention while your career starts high, that doesn't mean you'll be the starting quarterback. Don't worry, no spoilers here. You'll pick between 10 Division One schools. You'll be able to play two seasons of college football playoffs where you attempt to win one, but two, not one, but two NCAA championships or switch to running back or wide receiver. Okay, after your college career, you'll be attending to the NFL Combine where you'll have the chance to test your skills and run the iconic 40-year dash. When you finally enter the NFL, it doesn't stop there. You have the chance. Okay, new gameplay features. Go down here, so skill stick. You'll be able to combo together all your base moves on the right analog stick, including juke, spin, hurdle, and dead leg. Ooh, is that, is that a stop? I don't know. The skill stick brings more fluid athletic movement to the field and gives you more control. Okay, so that explains that. All your pass rush moves and block sheds from NFL 21 will now be on the right analog stick. You have full control to choose the exact pass rush move you want and when you want to do it. Be sure to use your rush moves strategically though as each pass rush has a limited amount of available moves for play and block will start to build resistance against repeated moves. This will give you more control and it adds a layer of strategy to one of the most important aspects of defense. Location-based tackles, there are tackles between Sorry, where both the ball carrier and defender are aware of the first down marker and is in a pylon. What this means is you'll see ball carriers reach out for the ball while getting tackled to score a crucial touchdown or clutch up on a first down. You'll see that the tackler defender struggle but successfully deny the ball carrier these reach out moments. So that's pretty cool though. So that means like when you're running to the one and like you see someone, like you know you're gonna hit, you're gonna hit him and you have to hit stick him back. If not, he's gonna go right in with you. Pretty much you're gonna be able to like go right for his arm, I guess, and make sure his arm doesn't get in. So I guess that, I guess that's pretty cool. Or you're gonna hold him back to make sure he doesn't go in. 
Now, guys, this is what you guys probably been waiting for. Madden 21 pre-order bonuses. So, if you order the... Let's see. Where's the basic one? Okay, this is the basic one. The basic Madden, I believe, comes with one uniform pack of your choice. One out of 32 elite players from Team Elite Packs. You guys already know the deal with that. Like, Ezekiel Elliott, Saquon Barkley, Joey Bosa. You get to get one. They're usually base 80s. And then five Muck Gold Team Fantasy Packs. Now, guys, I will be making a video on those Fantasy Packs when we get closer on the best team to choose. Now, the second edition, the deluxe edition, three days early access, and you get one uniform pack, one elite player again, but this time 12 gold team fantasy packs. Those fantasy packs can be kind of glitchy if you pick the right teams and you get you hit big. And then there is the MVP Lamar Jackson edition. This comes with a base elite Lamar Jackson power-up item with power-up, so that's cool. So I guess you get a Nat Lamar Jackson and you get his power-up, so that's pretty cool. And I guess that's an early look at the card art for next year, as you guys can see there. One large quick sell pack, you get a MCS Ultimate Champion pack, you get one uniform of your choice, one elite player, and 17 Muck Gold Team Fantasy packs. So I think the MVP edition has some pretty good stuff there. I will, of course, be picking it up because that's what I'm going to do, considering it's my channel based around Madden. But guys, that is super hype. These are the gridiron, gridiron notes. If you want to look it up, type in Madden 21 Gridiron. And if not, go to the EA stream and you will see everything, including links in there. But guys, that's about it for this. Let's get back to the rest of the stuff I was talking about. I'm going to put this in between the video at some point. Guys, real quick, shout out to Mark Leaks for always getting some of this information out for us on Twitter. Now, I know it's not that he leaked the trailers per se, you know, this is live info at this point, but he does have a lot of leaks usually that do come a bit earlier than other stuff, and I do appreciate that. Now, I'm going to be showing this from here from a further look, just because I do not want to get copyright strikes for showing you guys the trailer in full screen. Don't know how that applies, but I'm just not taking a chance here, but if we play this trailer through and go to some of the other stuff we can see down here as well. But guys, from the trailer, as you can see, it's looking like it's going to be very run heavy, like run heavy again. I don't think that's changing. The way Madden's designed with X-Factor and everything... But what they did talk about was adding well, all all out control, all out stick ball control. So I don't know exactly how that's gonna work because I feel as though we should have already had ball control like that. But I don't know. It's gonna be interesting to see how that works. But what I do know, guys, is that if you guys do know about how X factors are, they did say that next year there's gonna be a bunch of new X factors in the game and a bunch of new abilities, which should mean that we will be getting more ways to stop the offense and maybe like maybe there'll be like a neutralized ability that cancels other people's abilities i don't know how exactly it's gonna work but look right here it says dominate the edge with new pass rush control now i'm assuming that means user control because not to mention by the way if you guys see that strip sack right there are they making pass rush from what i'm getting they're making pass rushing and running the ball like glorified in this trailer which is weird because that's what people want to get toned down clutch stops realistic open field tackling that is important guys pause real quick open field tackling is important this year open field tackling was not great you could literally just swerve around people this was literally the year of the swerve the way you play this year wasn't like juking wasn't even that great this year like if you didn't have evasive especially or even if you did have evasive if you just had human joystick it'd be even better you just run directly at people and then just swerve and in open field it's even if you strafe this year guys strafing is not as great as it used to be i would strafe all the time people still just run right all right around me because strafing you lose so much speed it is a really weird dynamic this year so i'm happy they are addressing that hopefully I mean, we can only hope but guys a lot of running there was like i think one pass total in like this whole entire trailer there's, there's two actually there's joe burrow getting sacked i think there was one pass to alvin kamara all right so that little um you catch a streak on someone and then the glitchy swat happens is there there user control what was that user controlled celebrations yep all right we can already do that though so i don't know guys so far it's looking very familiar to this year's madden i'm not seeing too much of a difference but like every year it's always just slight improvements and i do enjoy it though at the end of the day all i care about is a new madden with updated rosters with a new ultimate team mode to start grinding again that's all i care about i don't really care about the whole look of it to be honest but as we move on down guys this is important so ea did finally confirm that pre-order date will be well, that pre-order date, the date of Madden will be August 25th, with, of course, the MVP edition getting it to you three days early. So, that is important. Now, remember, MV MVP will be three days early, and then EA Access should be five days earlier than that. So, 22nd will be the MVP, whatever, date. And then, as you guys know, EA Access, it should be, I believe EA Access is five days from the MVP. So, that should be, so we could probably be expecting to get at the earliest date, looking around August 17th. Which is actually when they used to actually drop Madden, like August 17th or August 25th. That used to be the original dates, and they've recently got very, very like short games. But as we've known, the earlier they drop games, it appears to be the more things wrong with the game. So I guess we can maybe look at that as a positive. But I am hype. This looks cool. Just the art, everything just gets get some kind of hype. We're already in June, which is June 16th, so we are approximately 
Oh, pretty much tomorrow, we will be officially two months out from Madden 21 early. Now, guys, this year is going to be a little bit tough. You know, we're going to have to get the EA Access. I'm probably going to have to get multiple accounts for EA Access to get enough videos for you out. It really sucked last year because EA Access, it's like I wanted to play Madden. But at the same time, getting you guys videos was more important. So I had to use all my hours to record and do not play Madden, which kind of sucked. So EA Access is such a tease, but it is what it is, guys. I got to get those videos in. I am super excited, though. Let's go down to this more of the information down here. So apparently this was on the PS Store. So a new generation is leaving its mark in the NFL. Will you rise to the occasion, change the game, take control of your own legacy? Madden 21 delivers new features and modes, including face of the franchise, rise to fame, rise to fame becoming immortalized in Madden 21 as you transcend NFL history and shape your own path to greatness. We always do face the franchise is going to be back. It was pretty cool, actually, but I think it needed some improvements. Hopefully they did that this year. Take control, master innovative running enhancements and live playbooks to run up the score in Madden 21. Take control. I really don't know how that's going to work running the ball wise unless like you get like some cool camera angle when you're running the ball and you're just almost one-on-one -on -one tunnel vision i don't know and then x factor 2.0 great new x factor abilities fresh out of the lab were designed to elevate the stars of a new generation man 21 personally i like abilities i like x factors i really don't mind them um i wish stats played more to their stats though i think like so here's some three ridiculous things that i think need to be fixed and hopefully they do this with x factor 2.0 I don't think it need you need an ability to do something. I think an ability should only enhance your ability to do something. You know what I'm saying? Like some some things this year you could only do if you had an ability. And 2K does this too, and I think it's very ridiculous. Like in 2K, let's just say if you play, you can't block certain things unless you have Hall of Fame Rim Protector, which is like an ability. Hall of Fame. Like you have to literally have it all the way to even get a cool like animation block that gets you that allows you to do certain things, certain dribble moves. And I always thought that was dumb because, like, I'm very skilled at 2K. I should be able to do that regardless. And then it should only make me better. Like, instead of, let's say, I have a 20% chance to block, that makes it a 40. That's fair. But see, with this, if my quarterback has a 92 speed and I scramble, I should not be getting sacked by 70, 70 overall speed defensive tackles. I should not be able to not move out. Of, I should not be getting sacked every single time because they can't run. I think if you have speed, you should be able to scramble regardless. Escape artist should just mean that you get your top speed instantly. You know what I'm saying? Like, scr uh, scrambling outside the pocket should be like, one, two, go. Like, you should have speed, like, to go, just a second, and escape bar should mean that there's, like, no torque, you know? Like, it's just, like, instant acceleration, you just you just go. You guys get what I'm saying? Like, that should be how that works. It's your, or, or what it should do is just make you faster behind the line of scrimmage. Escape bar just turns whatever speed you are into a 99 speed behind the line of scrimmage, and then after you go back to your regular speed. But in the backfield, your current speed always applies. That would make the most sense to me, in my opinion. But this is most of the Madden 21 news, I believe. EA Play that was supposed to be happening, you know, in person and everything. Supposed to happen July 4th Pacific Standard Time or obviously Eastern Time for us. Well, for me, I'm sorry. Shouldn't characterize all of us as us there. But it really sucks, guys. I actually had a um, vacation plan to go to EA Play. A whole a whole trip. It was going to be a fun time. And the whole pandemic kind of ruined that. I was supposed to be flying out with Zerk. I think Dom. And I'm not entirely sure who else. But I think those were the three. We were supposed to head out to EA Play, probably rent an Airbnb, or do what we gotta do. It was supposed to be a fun time. We're gonna record some videos for you guys, have a fun time. But it all got it all got thrown off because of, of course, the pandemic. So it kind of sucks. It's upsetting to see. Me and Zerk have been talking about EA Play for literally like 365 days straight, like a whole year, just nonstop talking about it. We were planning everything, what we we're gonna do. But it is what it is. We have to take the good with the bad, I guess. I mean, I'm hyped for a new Madden. I wish we could have went to EA Play. That would have been a super fun time with the guys. But again. It's still, it's still good. It's okay. We have a new Madden coming. But I think that pretty much wraps up everything. That's everything we have for today. Now, guys, I do expect more information regarding Madden 21 coming within the next weeks. Obviously, this is just the first little, like, taste of it. More things should be coming. And if you guys haven't already, go check out the full trailer in full audio, of course. So you guys can have a chance to hear for yourself. But guys, about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you are into the channel, make sure you go down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on the notification boys. Come join the family. Make sure this video a big thumbs up as always. And if you haven't already, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of Madden 21. Give me from scales of 1 to 10 what you guys think. And let me just know if you guys have any like good opinions on this. Like, Don't just go down there saying Madden's bad. But like, let me know. 1 to 10. Reasoning behind it. What are you excited for, guys? Last well, minute, I'm out. See you guys later. Peace.